So the, the question I was asked was on um, cancelling beliefs, should I, how frequently and often should I be doing it? And um, I think the mechanism of it and ha how I should do it. Um, and, uh, you know, throughout the whole day, or should I do it in a regimented way or not a regimented way? Or, or should I just do it when I, when I feel like it? And um, so I think uh, now I've done counseling beliefs in so many different ways over the last, I think, 20 years or so. And I've learned a lot around it. So I now realize if I'd done my counseling beliefs in a more regimented way than I did in the beginning, like it took me uh, about five years with the kidney failure before the miracle started happening there that it would it would happen faster because it, it it's the um so what does it mean that can and how do i do cancelling a belief well a belief uh is something which has the power a thought which has the power to manifest like if i believe i have kidney failure then i have kidney failure it manifests it can manifest out it's that powerful or if I believe I have asthma, I can have asthma. So it's like, it's a very heavy belief if it started to manifest in physical form. Um, and a belief means, what is, it, what is a belief? A belief means something that's so strong and so, so addictive and so, you know, like a, like a belief that um, it's very hard to shift it. You know, like if I tell someone who's got a strong belief just to ignore it and forget it, they find it very hard because it's, such a strong thing it's like a, a ferocious addiction to holding on to something so it's like oh i you know what are you well i'm i'm a person with kidney failure it's my belief system of what i am so it's like well just forget that or i can't forget that that's what i am you know it's it's such a core thing so to to erase that i'm also a hypnotherapist by training i could see as well to erase that to raise a belief system you need something very, very powerful to vanish it so it no longer exists. Uh, hypnotherapy is just a thera therapeutic way of doing that. But um, I saw that because the ego is holding on to it so ferociously and it's defending that belief with such ferocity that for it to 100% delete it would require quite ferocious cancelling the opposite direction you know, to not believe I've got kidney failure and not even to be, uh, remember I've got kidney failure. Uh, it's not going to, you know, the ego is going to heavily try and reintegrate that belief and not, not let it get washed away very easily. So I saw that. That was kind of it. But even then, in the early days, I wasn't cancelling very often. Like every day, I'd cancel my belief in kidney failure, asthma, like uh, probably two or three times a day. And they did go after about three to five years of my illnesses. I wasn't cancelling that much. But I was doing the Course in Miracles every day, which is kind of like doing the Course in Miracles throughout the day. Because it's like, if, if I cancel my belief in kidney failure, and then my Course in Miracles lesson is, I pray for a miracle to see things differently, then I'll pray for a miracle to see my kidney failure differently. And then uh, the, the next day, my Course in Miracles lesson, maybe my thoughts on me, I'll just say my kidney failure is meaningless. So... In a way, even though I wasn't cancelling it throughout the day, I was doing the Course in Miracles throughout the day, so I was cancelling it throughout the day, but just using slightly different variations. Because I'd use the Course in Miracles and the daily repetitions throughout the day, like the Course in Miracles would say, every hour on the hour, I'd have my watch beep at me, and I'd go, like, I pray for a miracle to see my kidney failure and my asthma differently. So I was kind of cancelling it anyway throughout the day, even though I wasn't using the cancelling belief. I was using the Course in Miracles lessons to just delete the idea uh, dear God, help me see it differently. Dear God, help, uh, uh, this is meaningless. Of course, you know, kidney failure is a meaningless idea. So, uh, so I was kind of doing it throughout the whole day because I was really had so much illnesses that I was using the Course in Miracles in all of them. And the, the great thing is, if you, anyone's a Hawking student, is he did the Course in Miracles and 23 illnesses left him. And he ran a group, uh, an opportunity healing group, I believe in New York. Um, with people with cancer and AIDS, and they did it uh, in his presence, and all their illnesses did. So, if, if Co Hawkins let 23 illnesses go by doing the Course of Miracles, and his students with cancer and AIDS also let go of their illnesses, then uh, it worked for me, and it did work for me. So, I uh, just also bear testimony to Hawkins and his students' testimony that uh, it works. But um, so, 
Cancelling belief is one way of doing it. You know, the other lessons can also be applied to illness from A Course in Miracles. You could say they're all holographic. Um, I would say that, um, I'd say that my, uh, I, I think it was coming from a spiritual place that I wanted to be free of these illnesses. And so the Holy Spirit answered and cleared all these illnesses away. I think if I was coming from ego, they might not have cleared. Um, so um, now, what was the question? How frequently should I do it? Well, here's the thing I learned. I think Course in Miracles student will understand what I'm talking about. Who've, done, who've tried to do the less, lessons exactly every day. There comes a, you know, if you try and do the Course in Miracles lessons, like if it says every hour, there's what I call ego rebellion. <laughs> it's like, the ego can't stand it. It's like, oh my God, not every hour. You know, it's like, uh, you know, I've got to remember in the morning and again late in the evening, oh my goodness, you know, that's too much. But um, what happens is when I start doing discipline, I'm starting to smash down the ego's resistance to spiritual discipline and to deleting this stuff, which I actually think is very good. It's just the ego's cunning mechanism of just trying to keep its stuff uh, away from spiritual work. So I think there is, uh, I think, spiritual discipline, the Course in Miracles. And, you know, I, I admire anyone who, who tries to do the Course in Miracles and the daily lessons, the best of ability. Uh, I did them and I found that to be most, there is a, difference between reading the course of miracles and actually applying the daily lessons um you know and uh, and trying to follow the instructions and there's also i now realize i have done i did the course of miracles several years and i did it to get rid of all my illnesses and they all did leave um i tried to do it religiously and um is there is a magic in discipline and 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 doing the lessons and having regular practice even though the ego is rebelling and what i found in my experience uh, is it can, you don't have to do the coin. It could be like, okay, to, I'm going to start off just cancelling my uh, illness. Let's say I had um, uh, I had gout. It could be any illness. It doesn't matter. I could start off on the first day just twice a day, and then I'll say by the end of the week, I'll be doing it four times a day. By two weeks, I'll be doing it six times, eight times. So you, you're, you're ratcheting up the amount of cancelings in a day gradually over time because the ego will rebel too fast if you go too fast that i would also got taught from the course of miracles start off gradually like twice a day and then ratchet up until you're maybe once every hour uh, and really start smashing the ego so the ego doesn't like it but once you do that and get used to it you get used to a new level of just being happy and free and then you challenge yourself to go to the next level of just doing applying the lesson even more regularly they just cancel it and um and uh, that i think would be the the most opt uh, will your ego like it no it'll hate it you know it's like uh, but um i'm pretty sure and my experience is when i do the lessons with a more regimented way i know this stuff sounds odd but there's more freedom it's like what i'm doing is i'm cancelling my attachment to the world more regularly the world is meaningless you know i just cancel or pray to see the world differently every hour is better than just remembering once a day because i'm just deleting my ego perception on a regular basis which i actually found to be really useful oh, oh and the last thing on how i cancel beliefs just to answer it so anything that i suffer like physical illness is just a belief so so um god has the authority to cancel it to refute it like I believed in it, and now I, I manifested it into existence. I, uh, I can ask God to help me to cancel that because it's not a, an idea based on truth. God did not create the idea of kidney failure or gout. That's just a human collective idea, uh, collective human insanity. So I can cancel it. Uh, I have the right because it's not an idea based in absolute truth, the absolute infinite. So I cancel it. You know, it's an illusion. I don't want to believe illusions. Um, I'm an infinite being. Well, my true nature is infinite, timeless, always present. It's not finite. I cannot be limited. If I believe in limited thoughts and limited beliefs and limited bodies and limited illnesses, then I'm allowing myself to be constricted into a limited experience of existence. That is not the truth of what I am. I have my truth is infinite existence, infinite presence. It's not limited presence. I'm not limited to thoughts or to uh, a body or to uh, an illness that's illusion uh, do i want to be limited no thank you i don't want to be limited to an illness or a body or thinking 
or any diagnosis. No, thank you. So I'll happily cancel anything because they're not based on truth, on spiritual truth. So I cancel my belief in it. I say it with power because it's an illusion. I'm an infinite being. My truth is the infinite presence, holiness, oneness, beyond all form, beyond all limits. Um, I'm only subject, I'm only imprisoned by the limits I believe. If I believe I'm a body, I'm an illness, I'm a diagnosis, then I'll suffer those limits. I don't want to be, I'm gonna, I don't want to suffer limits. So that's how I do. I also had very, also when I cancel things, I remember my spiritual experiences, my white light spiritual experiences, those experiences of infinite flow without thinking, the timelessness. Uh, I know it's to be true, so I just say it with the authority of truth. I don't want to be limited to those, to those limited ideas. I am not a kidney failure. That's not what I am. I'm not a thought. That's not what I am. I'm not a diagnosis. I cancel those things. I'm an infinite being. So I just say it in that way and I keep affirming it because um, if you, uh, Hawkins did the thing, if you said, take, I cancel my belief in kidney firm and from being in check it with muscle testing, that the body goes strong. It's based on absolute truth. If I said like uh, I, I did a muscle test, I'm a kidney failure, uh, my arms would go weak. It's, it's a horrible thing to believe. You know, it's not based on absolute truth. It's rubbish. So I just say that to help people because it's like, you know, trying to hold on to your beliefs and keep them safe why anyway i'll stop i'll i'll um i'll stop that recording now